Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 9.4, line graphs. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to analyze and display data in a line graph. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders. Today's lesson is on another type of graph called a line graph. A line graph is like a line plot, but then we connect all of the dots together to see whether there is an, an interval that increases or decreases. So let's begin this together and I'll show you what I mean. A line graph is a graph that uses se line segments to show how data changes over time. The series of numbers placed at fixed distances that label the graph are called the graph's scale. The intervals, or difference between the values, should be equal. So you can see here we have a graph of recorded temperatures. So we have time and temperature. So at 1 o'clock a.m. it was 51 degrees. At 2 o'clock it was 49. At 3 o'clock, 47. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take this information and we're going to make them into ordered pairs. We're going to use the time as our x-axis and we're going to use the temperature as our y-axis. So you can see they've done one o'clock for us. At one o'clock it was 51 degrees. So at two o'clock it was 49 degrees and I'm looking right here to get those numbers. At three o'clock it was 47. At 4 o'clock, it was 44. At 5 o'clock, it was 45. At 6 o'clock, it was 44. And at 7 o'clock, it was 46. So you can see we've taken our data table and made it into some ordered pairs that now we can graph like we did yesterday. Make sure you have all these written down because my step two is on the next slide. All right, step one. For the vertical axis, choose a scale and an interval that are appropriate for the data. You can show a break at the scale between 0 and 40 since there are no temperatures less than 40. So the vertical axis is this right here. And so we're showing the temperature on the vertical axis, our y axis. And you can see that since none of our numbers was less than 0, we use this little squiggle line to show a break in the graph to show that nothing happened from 0 to 40. Then step two says for the horizontal axis, write the title, the times. So we have the times between one o'clock and seven o'clock. And now we're going to use the ordered pairs that we wrote at the top of the page to graph our information. So at one o'clock, you can see at one o'clock we were at 51. They've graphed that point for us. At two o'clock, we were at 49. At three o'clock, 47. And now we need to continue at 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock it was 44. So remember we're going to go over to 4 o'clock and then up to 44. So there's my mark right there. And I'm going to continue putting my marks and then connect the dots. So let's go ahead to 5 o'clock. It was 45. So 44 and then just a teensy bit up. Our numbers are counting by even numbers. But we're going to know that between 44 and 46 is 45. And then at 6 o'clock, we were back down to 44. And then at 7 o'clock, we went up to 46. Now let's go ahead and connect these lines to see what our graph is showing us. So we went down and then up and then down and then up. And I know your graph will be a little bit smoother than mine because it's a little bit hard to write on the iPad. So now that we have this graph, we can answer some questions about it. So we can see that the temperature went gradually down over the time 
it went up a little bit, but then it went down. But from the start to the finish, from 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock, it went down mostly. We can see the graph that the line is on a negative, it's on a downward slope. It's not on an upward slope like the temperature is getting larger. So let's look at the question below. It says, look at each line segment in the graph. Find the line segment that shows the greatest change in the temperature between two consecutive points. So if we look at between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock, we went from 51 to 49. From 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, we went from 49 to 47. Okay, so 51 to 49 is only a change of 2, but from 49 to 47, that's a larger change. So if we look at the change here from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, that's only a slight change, but now look here from three o'clock to four o'clock, we went from 47 to 44. That's a three point change. And that is the biggest area of our drop. So we could say that the greatest temperature and change happened between three o'clock and four o'clock. We will continue making tables like this together in class, but you do not have a lesson activity for today. Great job, fifth graders.